Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to another episode of Void Train. Uh, and I am exactly where I left off last time, right outside the Void Gate, which has returned to its semi-normal appearance. That was kind of creepy seeing how it looked like before, but uh, anyway, uh, I am just getting a few things ready. I've been getting stuff ready for the next stage of research, one of them just happens to be the backpack, and I hope I have made it enough to actually make the thing. Uh, so anyway, oh, uh, that's actually one thing I haven't done yet. That's the thing about having uh, the walls on the card and all that. I actually enjoy having this because uh, it keeps my containers and all that stuff from getting damaged every time we have a, the, the raiders or bandits come by. So uh, that's just to save me more work. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, rubber. Yeah, we gotta go to lab three here, or lab two for that. So we go to consumables, or uh, components I mean. I need the resin. Of course I do. Now where did I put that resin? Uh, oh, I gotta make one more. All right, not a problem. Uh, as far as the the duplication or the the extra oh, uh, extra items from the recipes, uh, it seems to be only doing like two at a time. I don't have inventory space. Of course I don't. Uh, I can get rid of that brass. Uh, it seems to be uh, a little sidetracked there. It seems to be. Uh, from what I can tell, it seems there seemed that percentage I was seeing was a percentage of how much extra you'll get from the recipe. Like, well, I'll pick them up. Or, uh, we'll go to the worker at station for a second. I have uh, somebody actually set up here. Uh, I was doing thickener. So this is depending on their happiness. Now, there's a 10% chance of getting plus 6 of the recipes. So if I do 10, it'll give me a chance of getting plus 6. 35% ch chance of 2, 65 of 2, and 95% chance of 0, I think. At least that's what I think it's going on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that seems to be the case. Uh, what was I looking for? Uh, I gotta make resin. Just, or, yeah, one resin, which I need chemicals for, which I need inventory space for. That's why I ran over there. And there we go. Alright, just one simple resin. That's it. And then I can go ahead and get that rubber going, and then we can start researching stuff on what rubber's going to actually do that. Uh, I haven't actually moved the train yet, because I have a feeling that the storyline's going to be unlocked at some point here. Uh, three rubber. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, yeah, so I just don't want to miss anything. Now this is going to be the medium backpack. Uh, I think this is going to probably give me an extra three slots, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, what's it going to take? It's not going to be in there. It's going to be workbench 2. Uh, yeah, right here. I'm starting to remember where everything is. Uh, back, medium backpack. I have enough. Oh, what do you know? Uh, actually, no, I don't. Uh, I need that for research, I think. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, okay, I need the pipes for that. Alright, so I just have to make one more pipe then. Alright, what did I need? I need one or two pipes for that. Chip over my feet here. Uh, three pipes and I just need one for that. Okay. Uh, bring it back once. All done. Okay, just about done. Uh, to make one grease here for the, the mineral oil. Uh, and there's the rubber. So let's go ahead and we'll... Oh. Hey, I actually need that one. An unstable chemical I put back. Oh. There. Come on. Uh, what can I get rid of here? Uh, hmm. Put some wood away. Okay. Kinda wish I could run faster. Uh, yeah, and I still have those chests I gotta... Oh. Yeah, I've got to take it out of the chest. Alright, these guys are getting bored. Anyway. Uh, okay, now we can do it. So, research that. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to define these, these lumps here or not. But, uh, oh. Oh, the gasoline canister, right? Yeah. Anyway, so that's that. So now I should be able to find gasoline lumps, I believe. And then once I do that, I can craft a gasoline canister. And I believe the next stage is going to be diesel or something like that. And I have no idea how, well, how we're going to process that. Is it showing up in here? Yes, it is. Now it's just a matter of finding the lumps of gasoline out in the void. Anyway, let's uh, make a backpack. 
30 seconds. I'll be right back. All right, there it is. So now, what does this one do? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, yeah, it gave me another three, three slots. Good. Now you have something I can't actually do anything with. And it's not actually showing me anything on the tooltip, but that is fine. I will just put that with, uh, where is it here? Where did I put it? There it is. The suit I don't actually use. And there we go. And there's the other prophecy I was talking about. Number of sharks in the void plus one. And then I have this one here, plus 15 leech percent leeches. So, I haven't found any good prophecies. Maybe that's saying something about this playthrough. Anyway, I'm going to continue on and uh, bring you back if anything interesting comes up. I'm sure it will, but hopefully I survive. Okay, I'm back. Uh, nothing too exciting happened really. Came across an arena, I decided not to do that. Came across an outpost because I had to drive through it, and uh, I found a big chunk of gasoline. Kind of looks like something I don't want to touch, to be honest. Oh. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and see what this does for us. I have absolutely no idea where it's going to be happening next, as far as like depots and game progression because I haven't actually seen beyond this point so uh, we shall see I'll pick that up and do that it takes five seconds and then with that then I can go ahead and make a gasoline canister which in other words fuel uh, just unstable chemicals I have that so it's like a water bin just gasoline into the water Alright, and we do that. And let's see what's next. Diesel engine. And that's going to allow me to tow up to 12 platforms. So I should be able to expand the last car all the way. And then ammunition. Ammunition too, so that just basically means I get more ammo out of my boxes. Which isn't bad. Uh, I think I actually have enough to do this. Uh, mineral oil and all that stuff. Let me see what I can scrounge together. I think we might be getting to the gate pretty soon, but uh, I think I can manage this. And just like that, I have everything done. And you'd be surprised how much micro crafting I had to do. I actually had every single smelter and lab and workbench running, but I do have enough. Now, I started thinking about this. No, oh, I gotta make the grab pick up the mineral oil, uh, which just happens to be right here. Which I don't have the inventory space for. Uh, let's get rid of the zinc, I don't need that. But I started thinking about this. Uh, why is that in there? Put it in the wrong chest. Yeah, uh, not supposed to go in there. We'll take that out for now. Uh, I started thinking about it. If I upgrade this to diesel, or to, yeah, up to diesel, are the, the Raiders gonna have diesel? I also started thinking about it too, maybe I shouldn't have, uh, I don't know, shouldn't have passed up the, the arena, because I might actually need more of this, well, I'm gonna need more of this acid, because I have to need, need, this, need this to make the containers. Uh, I think. Can't remember, we'll find out. But I only have one acid left right now, so I might have to start doing them a little more often. But I did manage to get everything to upgrade both of those. Which just gets me more ammo for my resources. Now what's next? Now we have Ram 2. Needs more rubber, means more, means more acid. Uh, kitchen 2. Rag out soup. Interesting. In the kitchen 2, of course. And then metabolism. This is a uh, safety Okay, that just has to do with the health bar there, which I... Uh, usually health is an issue as long as I can keep on top of my, uh... Top of, uh, whatchamacallit there, uh, my armor plates, yes. Because as long as I have armor, I don't take damage. Uh, I might actually look at this right now. I should have enough to do everything. I might have to make one more, uh... Uh, thickener for the sturdy board, but let me check this out. Okay, I just researched, researched it, so let's see what it costs to make this. Probably about the same as what it costs to uh, research it. Now, where is it? Kitchen 2. Yeah, exactly the same. And I should have enough, so let me throw this together and we'll check it out. Okay, just about done here. 3, 2, 1, and there we go. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this one actually places this kitchen here. So I'll place this one down, we'll have a look at it, and then we'll uh, dismantle the other one. All right, let's have a look at this. All right, what kind of recipes do we have? A dish, warm and, uh, a dish, warm and nutritious broth. Uh, huh. Kind of wondering about this. Uh, let me investigate this. Okay, slight snag, just like all the tier two benches in this game. Uh, it needs coal. Uh, everything needs coal. I have no coal. Uh, thankfully, the drain won't be needing coal anymore. But I will have to make the gas canisters out of that, I believe. Uh, let's see what we actually needed for that. It wasn't in here. Where was it? Uh, oh, yeah, it's probably in here. Yes, gas can. Okay, so three chunks. Okay. So, yeah, well, I'll definitely have to find more gas. I hope that it, being a diesel engine, it goes a lot better. Uh, but, yeah, so I have to start getting to the habit of making this charcoal. Because uh, I get a lot of wood, I got a lot of chemicals, I'm also going to use for it, m make use of it, and I might even have to get a second smelter going just because of that. But, anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. So, I'm just going to put this all in here. I'm going to have to start crafting a whole cooking up a whole bunch of this and I actually want to check this stuff out so we'll make one of these 30 seconds wow uh, let me cook lunch and I'll be right back okay so I got them both made uh, they're exactly the same both do plus 40% food which really doesn't matter to me I was hoping it was gonna be a, a buff but it might come in handy uh, it's definitely gonna unlock the next part where that, that uh, those little arrows that show my health regen uh, it just means that instead of having to be up here, it'll have to be you'll only have to be down here to recover the whole art. Uh, other than that, there's really no point for it. But now I can see why you'd want to have a gourmet work, a gourmet reflimo working here, because if you can get bonus ones of these, it works out fine. Uh, I was trying to figure out what the difference actually was in them because they do the exact same thing. The only difference is one uses three ice and two organic, and the other one uses three organic and two ice. So realistically, making the soup would be better because ice seems to be more common than the organics, but it all really depends on what you have on hand. Anyway, uh, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to rearrange the kitchen here, and uh, I'll meet you at the next void gate, or uh, if I find anything else of interest. So I was going along here, and I saw the... Oh, saw the gasoline chunk sit, uh, sitting there, so I went to go grab that. I grabbed a nice chunk and a few other things. And it was a good thing I actually stopped because I didn't actually notice this until I was I was collecting a few things I was swimming back to the train. And I hoped to notice where are they? Fireflies right there. I would have completely missed them if I didn't stop for that gasoline there. But anyways, I thought I'd just show you that. I'm not gonna go down with you. I'm just gonna go down there, grab whatever chest I can get, and then uh, I'll meet you back when I'm done. And I, I expect we'll be at the depot fairly soon, and hopefully I have enough to upgrade this train again. Yes, by that sound, we have arrived at the void gate. These guys keep getting in my way. Uh, everything seems to be okay. Uh, looks normal. Well, normal as it always does. Uh, I don't expect too much trouble except for the, the usual trouble. And we'll hope it goes from there. Uh, if I can, I want to get this engine upgrade so I get to expand the platform because as you can see, I'm running out of space. I actually have like chunks of gasoline kicking around. I know I could go and crush them, but it takes so long to go back and forth. To, when I'm looting, like what I'll do is I'll try to go around. If I see any chunks, I'll get uh, one of the reflimos to pick it up and bring it to the train for me, and I'll go swim around, grab the stuff, and then I'll either carry it all the way back to bring it up here, and I got the crusher all the way at the very back, which is a bit of a pain. So maybe. We'll end up moving the crusher or something like that, but that'll be it. Let's go. Uh, as far as the, the puzzle, uh, there was only one puzzle the first one I went to, and it was the, the storytelling one. I couldn't figure it out, so I left kind of empty handed. And then I came across another one, and it was a simple light puzzle, so I did that. So I have four chests to bring in, and we'll go from there.
Uh, hopefully I don't need acid for anything because I only have one acid and uh, I kind of want to get the diesel engine today. See where that goes. Now the question is, what happens inside? Oh, uh, before I go in, see what I mean? I got like so much of this gasoline. Uh, what I want to do is put those away because I don't need them. I do want to take some armor plates just in case. Uh, wood storage is kind of a mess right now. Uh, I have made some of the charcoal. Uh, I want to make so much of it, really. Uh, hmm. Inventory management at its finest. Uh, just stick it in here for now. Deal with it later. Alright, uh, oh, uh, ammo too. Oh, it's the wrong box. I'm probably going to use the other stuff, but I don't care. Not too worried about it. In fact, oh yeah. Never did upgrade that, did we? Oh, I think I have to make a second, a different ammo box. Maybe that's what it is. That's fine. It's not like I go through well, much ammo anyways. Well, not yet anyways. I'm kind of worried about what they're going to throw at, throw at me if they expect me to use that much ammunition. Anyways, let's see what trouble awaits. Maybe some more storyline. I don't know if I've ever tried doing that. We know it was a bad, it didn't do a bad thing, so that's good. And off we go. Big leg spike. And the same old, same old. Uh, I'm getting no narration, so I'm, ex I'm guessing it's going to happen in the in the next void. But anyways, uh, I got some uh, bandits to take care of, and some so we can open up some chests, and we'll do some upgrades and whatnot. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, now for the big moment. Let's see what this, these chests have to offer. Oh, I go too soon. Uh, we should be able to get a new prophecy here too. I haven't actually checked to see if the machine is here and actually working. Uh, let's see, uh, usual stuff. Ooh, what is that? Oh, weapon module. Annihilator. Oh, okay, there's the alternate fire. So basically there's just... It's a, a plasma ball that hangs around and damages enemies when they fly into it. Or run into it. Interesting. Cool. Uh, weapon cores. And that's what the weapon core is for. Okay, so I can actually install this on any weapon I want. Interesting. Alright. Ooh, and uh, what was that? Another barrel. Cool. Picked up a good a new gun too. It uh, looks okay, but we'll see how... Uh, it works out with the modifications. Anyways, uh, we'll open up the rest of the chests here. Next one gives me uh, more stuff. The mushrooms we really need. And full inventory space and more void seeds. I should start planting those mystery seeds too, see what uh, kind of things I get out of it. I'm actually wondering if it's possible to get... Uh, acid out of these chests. Alright, and that's just going to be a common thing. Pretty sure. And then we'll open up the last one. And then I'll deal with the inventory in a moment. And nothing exciting. Alright, well, let me get everything together and then uh, I'll see where we go from here. Okay, I'm back. I didn't really find too much. So there's a few things we're going to do before we end the episode. Uh, first of all, we're going to I'm going to fling those here, and we're going to eat give each one mushroom. So we're going to pick you up. You are subscribed. I will give you one mushroom. Like playing the lottery. Give me something good. Something good or you're off the train. Wall lamp. Hey, I was just looking, speaking about lights. Cool. Alright, so there's that. Now you 
You know, wake up for food, don't you? Come on. There we go. Got to do the old jump shot here. All right, then I'll we'll give you one. Let's see what you give me. A ship lamp. Oh, interesting. Okay, who's next? You. You haven't had one. I'll give you one. Do it. I get out of this guy. Raider wagon walls. Oh, it's kind of cool. Probably just aesthetic. It might offer more protection than this. But I could probably go ahead with the, the windowed version and not have the armor. But, and then it was you. You were the only one left to eat. At least I think. Hope, hope they're not like Mogwai's and it's not after midnight. Shelf. Shelf and closet. Oh, I have to check out the shelf. Storage possibilities. Maybe. Unless it's just straight up decor. Gotta look at this quickly here. Uh, decorative object. Hmm. Let's have a look. Build it and have a look. One iron, one wood. Uh, iron and wood. Alright, now I don't think I can actually place things on it. Let me see if I can move the lamp. Uh, and yes. Okay, so I can place place the objects on it. Cancel relocation. Get out of that. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else. Anything but cosmetic. Okay, interesting. Go ahead and get rid of that. Bring up the, the old hammer. And deconstruct. Okay. Now, what was the other thing on the menu? Oh, yeah, the wall lamps. Let's have a look at those. Let's actually have a look at this. Okay. And then the next one is going to be the wall lamp. And it's really about what offers more lighting possibilities. And why can I not build this anyway? Oh, is it only go at the end? I like it though. Or unless stuff's in the way. Uh, let me have a look at this. Okay, so I was having a hitbox issue with the previous lamp there, and for some reason the armor seems to affect it. It does seem to give a little bit more light. Not a whole lot though, but uh, I'll probably have switching over to these between now and the next episode. Alright, that is kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the, the Raider engine cover. There's a few other things we got to do. One, we got to cash in our tokens. And two, we also have to go pick up a new Prophecy. Which is not in here, I thought it was. Uh, I guess it's going to be over here then. Oh yeah, we also got to look at uh, an engine upgrade. Alright, new Prophecy please. And let's see what we get. Speed of swimming in the void minus 5%. Now, I remember with the, the other artifacts that it would be, always be a negative and a positive. So maybe I put the negative in and then it gives me a right on positive. So I think what we'll do is when we go into the next void, or when we go into the next path, I should say. Sorry, I had to make sure we're, I'm not recording. Uh, I'm going to put this one in here and see what it actually does. See if it gives me anything better. Maybe it'll give me more resources or uh, a chance to collect an extra item when I collect something. Anyway, we'll find that out in the next episode. But in the meantime, let's... I just got another prophecy. Interception plan. Chances of being chased. I guess it's supposed to be increased by more, so... Alright, yeah, this is uh, something we were talking about before, is about how you can sort of shape the world around you. Oh, oh, leather. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. 
grab some more supplies, see if there's anything decent we're trading for. Acid would be nice, and nothing I really need. So let me go look at the, the engine upgrade and I'll bring you back. Okay, finally done. I have done uh, so much microcraft to trying to get this ready. Uh, so first things we gotta do, we have to get rid of the old engine. Steam engine, let's dismantle that. And let's go ahead and build our brand new diesel engine. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Can we armor it? I don't think we can. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. I don't have the. Uh, I can't make the rubber for the the new um the new ram. But what I can do is we can go ahead and I do have everything to upgrade this wagon and upgrade it again. And I have enough to add another wagon at the end here. And oh, I need two more springs. Hang on. Okay, here we go. And uh, yeah, the, my recording key lays put to the very beginning of the, of the car. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. And platform limit reached. So I'm gonna move a few things around. I think I'm gonna build a second gathering station. Have two gathering stations at the back here, and then I'll close this all off, and I'll bring you back when I'm all done. Okay, I am done. I managed to get everything all set up. I got the walls up, the armor on. Uh, we never did actually look at the locomotive. I kind of ordered this part and I had to redo it because... Uh, paper. Because I've got the... Uh, actually, have a look at this thing. And this is their new diesel engine. Can't wait to hear this thing go. Actually, I wonder if the whistle's been changed a little bit. Uh, as far as the fuel goes, yeah, it either needs gasoline chunks or a gasoline canister. And then the same thing uses ice or a water biting. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes in the time it comes. Oh. Gotta love it. Gotta love the air horn. But yeah, so for what I've got, so this is what I have here. Let me go into the second car. Uh, I guess technically the third car. This was the armory. This is all unused space, which is probably going to end up being storage. I might. Might replace one of these with uh, an open wall for when I'm putting in chunks and stuff like that. And this is basically be, going to be like a storage area and uh, area for the crusher. And we have the gathering stations down here. I've already assigned two guys to this already. Uh, first guy here is Comet, which is a miner, so he reduces uh, production time by 15%. And then down here, I got the, uh, the new guy. I don't know if I I actually got this on video, but I recruited the, a new, the new Bruflimo here. He's just a cook technologist and a chef. So it's basically all about cooking, but it's just just time and fuel, which is not that big of a deal because they're the only ones that are eating, not me. But he's going to be in here. He has no decor, no happiness from decor right now because he just got on the train, but I'm sure he'll be fine. And with that, I think we'll call it there. Uh, have done quite a bit. We have got quite the train. It's actually so foggy in here. You can't even see the entire thing All right, it's a uh, it's a it's a big one. That's for sure But with that, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave me a like and as always I'll see you in the next one later I saw you sleeping there